Hello friends, welcome back to the Phonia video tutorial. Today we are going to see how we can read a CSV file from Phonia application by using the Cordova plugin. Okay? Actually, this is the example which I have created and also hosted on github.com slash infolog. Okay? If you want to download this example, you can download it from here. Okay? So I'll explain what I have done. So you can get a clear idea about it right okay this is the output okay we have put a two buttons one from read from within project okay I have created a CSV file within a project as soon as we click on this button we will read all the details from that internal file okay and uh, if we want to reach a file from the document directory this is the public directory and this is the private directory for your application okay if you want to read it from the public directory you have to click on this button okay so let's turn toward the code okay here I have created a simple Cordova project CSV read and I have uh, copied the index.html file inside this project okay so you will find the same code like this okay first of all let's talk about the HTML code we have a two buttons as I already told you that one is from within a project to read a file and one is from the public directory that is the document directory okay we have a two methods read file from within project and read file from document directory we have a CSV file too inside the WW folder information.csv okay if I open this you'll find the details like this this is the my title card ID info ID on all these information about okay and this is the data right okay and if you open this in Excel you can see it proper okay and then here it is automatically separated by a comma okay if you don't know the separation is in CSV file it's a comma element right this will this is going to be to help us while reading the CSV file okay so let's start with the uh, reading file from internal okay this is called internal right this is WW and WW folder is read only you cannot write a file inside a WW folder okay that's why it's a private that means you cannot change it right so first of all read file from the within project okay first of all what we have done we have get the Cordova file application directory okay but before that we should know from where we can get this application directory okay for that you have to include a plugin called Cordova file Cordova plugin file okay this is the default plugin and you will find all of this information Okay, Cordova dot file dot application directory, document directory. Okay, all the file structures you will get from that plugin. So here we have resolve a local file system Cordova. Okay, we are asking to the OS that we want the directory application directory. Okay, and uh, after that inside application directory we are going to navigate to www dot file name. What is file name? File name is the information.csv. Okay, and we are passing the parameters. And if we got the entry, okay, we will send that object, file entry object, to the read file function. And read file function is over here. Okay, we are going to read that file. Okay, as soon as on load end. Okay, as soon as the uh, the file is loaded we are passing the whole result of that file that means the text all the text right to paint values function okay here is our paint value function what we have done we have a split to the row that means we have a one two three and four four rows right by adding a slash n character and inside a loop we are finding the particular all the columns by splitting 
the row using the comma separator right as soon as we are going to design a table tr field structure and assigning it back to the tdl info right so here i'm going to kill this application so it will start over again so here is vhd read file when i click on read from within project it will read all the details and noted down here okay now let's take a short look inside the document directory what is the difference in it okay so if you notice there is a very small difference is out there okay so first of all here what we have done the same path variable we have get the application directory okay and uh, here we have resolve file system url and here we are requesting a file system with a persistent data that means you the permissions where you can read or write the files okay and here we are giving a file name that should be if the file is present then we are going to open it and if the file name is not available on the above location then we are going to create it okay so to run this application to run the document directory to read file from the document directory what you have to do you have to copy this information.csv file to the document directory then only you can get this file name and it will again read as usual the structures right so this is a simple way to read a csv file okay at um, by using this example you can also write the csv file right what you have to do is just change this stuff okay we are going to read as text for that we are going to write right if you know see the file plugin over here okay let's load this is the plugin you will find all the details over here all the structure of your iOS Android okay all the platform which is supported by this plugin Requesting file system, this write file, what write file is doing, write a file, create writer, pass the data, it will write to the file, okay, just create this one more function, it will automatically create a CSV file on your particular locations, okay, you cannot create a CSV or any file within a project directory you have to create it in the document directory or a library directory or you can also use a temp directory okay if you do not need that particular file for long time right and uh, if you have any query regarding this you can post it on uh, youtube video right below comment section and uh, if you want to learn more different technologies and uh, want to see different kind of examples you can find all kind of examples in github.com slash infolog okay you can also visit the website infologs.in where you have you can get all the video tutorials in a single place right so and one more important thing don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you for watching Keep learning. Bye-bye. And I just want to tell you about my uh, video sponsors, DevMountain.com. Um, just because of them, I'm recording this video tutorial for you guys. Actually, they are running a coding bootcamp and they provided a different kind of courses like a web development, web development, iOS development, and UX design for the full time and after hours.
okay uh, the main important point they'll teach you everything that you need to take a job in this field okay so uh, I would like to request to just check out their website demartin.com and uh, I have already put uh, put down the links inside the description box below and uh, one more thing if you do contact with them just tell them my reference okay uh, till then keep learning bye bye